Okay, so let's talk about what we're doing, Quentin. We're making crawdad soup with corn on the cob, peach cobbler, ice cream. So one of the fun things you can do in your kokanee fishing is lakes that have kokanee usually have crawdads. So we're having a party tonight. The kids went and caught a bunch of crawdads that come out in the evening right before dark or at dark. You can throw out chicken legs on a stream to catch them or they'll actually come up right on shore and you can just scoop them up with nets. So we've got a bucket full we're gonna make. Um, we cook them with some corn, some sausage and some potatoes. So it's fairly simple. What we do is we just got some crawfish Ooh, boil, you get it at your local grocery store. And we will um, cook the corn and the potatoes first, get them ready and the sausage. And then the crawdads, they only take a few minutes at the end, about five minutes to cook. So we'll throw them in at the very end. Um, so some, some steps to help have nice, healthy crawdads that aren't full of gunk is what we'll do is you, you fill it full, a bucket full of water and then we're gonna dump salt. It makes them spit up all their crap. Yeah. So they, they hate it and so they just spit it up. So we're gonna dump a bunch of salt in there, mix it up. Okay, that's good. And then we'll do that about two or three times and we'll just rinse them and that'll clean all the gunk out They're and then you'll so have cool. some nice, nice how fresh crawdads when you're you done. This up? So the first thing we're gonna do is dump in the crawfish boil mix. So I'm gonna do just about half and half. Um, it can be pretty spicy, so depending if you have kids or not. And then I'm gonna put in some corn and potatoes in both of these and we'll get cook those first. gonna fill these full of corn so these have been flushed once we're going to do it a second time so we've got our pots loaded up with corn and potatoes so far we're gonna bring that to a boil and get them 90% 95% of the way cooked and then we'll add our sausage in and our crowd as last so part of this meal, of course, should include some fresh kokanee. Our downrigger is serving dual purpose as the light holder. And then we'll show you how we're gonna do this. We're just gonna throw some fresh flays. So this is fresh kokanee caught today. We're just gonna stick it on. We're gonna put some seasoning on. I think tonight we're gonna to use a little slap your mama. This kokanee, it's got enough fat in it. You can put butter in it, but it's got enough fat in that it. it'll just cook just perfect. So cook it for about five to 10 minutes each side. And it should be delicious in just a minute. Okay, so we're going to pull these off the grill. <laughs> oh, that's like perfect. So these have been boiling for a while. They're about 80% done, I would say. So I'm going to throw in the sausage and get that going. So what we decided to do since we have so many crawdads is we cooked the sausage and corn and potatoes all the way and we're going to empty these pots and put the crawdads in and add a little bit of water if we need to that way we can put them all in without having to do that in four batches. Okay so what we're doing now we got the pot boiling and we're just going to fill it full of crawdads. Okay, and we'll let those cook. It only takes oh, about three to five minutes. Oh, those guys are so lucky. He's sticking his claws out like that. Ah! Sorry. Ah, you burn me! <laughs> 
go ahead and teach us. Okay. So you just boiled up your crawdads. So first you want to do get the tail. Twist it off. Just twist it. Yep. That easy. And then you can push it down. Well, I just tried because these ones might be a little bit. Take off the shell. Yeah, you can do the tail. You don't. You don't need anything for the tail. You got that? Pull out the. You want to pull out the bang because that's where like the pooping crap is. <laughs> then, there you go. Dip it in some butter. Dip it in some butter. Yeah. How is it? That's great. <laughs> hey, what about this table? What oh, do you guys think of those crawdads? Um, they're good. I just... Uh, but I mainly like the little claws. The claws. Mm. Have you tried one yet? Dip it in the butter. It's really good. Good stuff. That is really good.